All right, you guys, so I want to welcome you back to another episode of The Acolyte. This is going to be episode six, teach slash corrupt. Uh, so I think one of the main points of this particular series or one of the points that they're trying to bring across is that the Jedi aren't as pristine and clean uh, as they've always uh, been made out to be. And we actually saw some of that in the prequel uh, trilogy as well. Uh, so this is not a surprise. Uh, we know that uh, over a thousand years uh, while the Jedi were uh, playing peacemaker uh, across the galaxy, slowly but surely uh, they started to uh, fa uh, fall away from uh, their original teachings and uh, becoming more loyal to the Republic than uh, to uh, the will of the Force. And uh, we see that uh, uh, descent uh, happening now, uh, or at least the beginning of that descent uh, with this era of Jedi about 100 years prior to the prequel. So, um, of course, uh, the title uh, Teach and Corrupt makes a lot of sense. And then in our last episode, uh, which was a really epi good episode, probably the best episode of the series so far, uh, where we obviously uh, continued from uh, the previous episode where uh, we got uh, we ran into the confrontation with our Sith stranger uh, is what he's being referred to and uh, of course it was revealed that the stranger same person who uh, was helping uh, helping May out in her quest uh, but all the, uh, all the time this was really her master uh, basically uh, uh, guiding her path or or, or uh, guiding her descent uh, into the dark side. So, uh, and then once she betrayed him, uh, he uh, basically revealed himself, uh, but not trying to uh, unmask himself, but uh, he was unmasked by Jackie, uh, who lost her life, but uh, she gave up a good fight. And I thought the uh, battle scenes in last week's episode were absolutely amazing. Uh, and then of course, we also lost uh, Yord uh, as well. His neck snapped uh, by our Sith. Uh, and uh, we, we lost some red shirt uh, Jedis as well uh, during the uh, skirmish with our uh, dark side user. So um, I really uh, enjoyed last week's episode. I thought it was great. I, I still feel like the story is lacking uh, somewhat, but I think I understand why that is, that uh, this is supposed to be like a mystery box uh, style of storytelling. And I think the writers are purposely uh, keeping uh, certain aspects of the uh, story from us. But in doing so, it's kind of leaving holes uh, in these first uh, few episodes. Uh, for us. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into episode six, Teach Slash Corrupt. Get an eerie little beginning and, and the same wake up for O'Shea that we got in the initial episode. And now she finds herself in a lair somewhere. And uh, also, uh, one thing that I missed last week as well, at the end of the episode, uh, the stranger, I'm going to call him the stranger, but in that last episode, uh, towards the end, while O'Shea was laying there, she um, had a wound and uh, it seemed like the stranger or our Sith character was trying to heal her wound and uh, the Kylo Ren theme uh, was playing in the background. I, I, that, I totally missed that. Why does this look like Ock 2? And I know she can't expect to fend him off. Oh, it says unknown planet. Okay, well maybe it's not. The master or, all right, back on Kofar. And when now we know this is May Pretending to be. Oh, sure. I'm going to read the transistor. It was real. So, in last week's episode, I theorized that he knows that this is not OSHA. 
So he knows that she's there. He's saying, wow, look at the scars on his back. Is he, he knows that she's there. I don't know why she would even attempt Master and pupil. He wants an acolyte. He's not interested in killing her. And he is not afraid of her holding the weapon. Mm. Why are they losing power? Unless she did something. Yeah, I knew it. I knew he was a Jedi. I, I said he was a um, a youngling. I've never heard of you. It was a really long time ago. A really long time ago. Why did you bring me here? What? If you keep me here, Saul comes to you. He found me before. And his strength in the Force is very powerful. Do you think that's his strength? That's your strength. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Why is it red? Why did it come back red? So now she's basically adopted her droid and changed it. Oh wow. Cause that the Jedi teach there's only one way to access the force. If you don't do it their way, faith. Hmm. Oh wow, look at that. Come on now. Below the surface of consciousness are powerful emotions. Anger. Hmm. Okay, yeah, the easy way. The easy way. Okay. The easy way. That's the path to the Yeah. Okay, she knows that. Mm -hmm. You killed your a man who didn't hesitate to tell you home for the crime you didn't commit. You killed Jackie. Then where did you think I was going to go? You would have had the same relationship with her that you have with your master. One sided. I'm not my sister. I'm not that easily corrupted. Oh, wow. Why are you a Jedi, Osha? Because I failed. Ooh. So that's strange.
He's slow. He's turning her slowly, seemingly. Yeah. I told you he knew that that was May. Or did he tell him? I told you. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Now why did Master Soul do that? All right, he's taking off. Oh, and they just showed up. Oh, he's repairing his helmet. They uh, immediately put this helmet up for sale, and, and in certain spots, it, it sold out. The power of two. Someone else had you in the back. Someone who threw you away. The Jedi Master. Now that's interesting. Is he gonna tell us the story? Cortosis. Cortosis. Try not. I won't trust you. Hmm. But you should let me trust yourself. Said, nor should you. I am really liking the interaction between O'Shea and uh, the stranger here. I, I, I'm, I'm loving the way that he's turning her. Uh, and, uh, what I was going to say is that I kept calling it Beskar um, because that's the only metal that I'm familiar with that, that can uh, withstand lightsaber. Wow. Oh, that is so messed up. Wow. Why is she laying there? Wow. That's shocking. I don't think we've ever seen anything like that in Star Wars. Damn, you're... She, uh, she's using, I forget what it's called, but she can um, sense what transpired. Uh-oh. Hold on. What? Oh. Damn. There's our lightsaber whip. Oh, wow. Yeah, don't think that, buddy. It's interesting that Master Soul didn't do. I, I was, um, and I should have said something about it in, in my uh, review of the last week's episode that uh, Master Soul just left all those bodies there. You know, he figured it out, babe. Now, why why he left Pip on her? I don't know. End of the episode. Oh. I thought that was the end of the episode. Oh, is that the same? Is that where he's getting the medal from? She's going to put the helmet on.
That is a cool helmet, though. She can just hear her breath. Uh-oh. He's... Oh, stop. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, I actually enjoyed that episode. I thought it was really, really good. Um, obviously, there was a lot of dialogue, not a lot of action, no fighting or anything like that. You don't need to have that in every single episode. Uh, and I did really enjoy the... Uh, dynamic between Osha and our, the, the stranger, uh, the way that he's turning her. Um, and it's, 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 it's subtle. He, uh, was, ha had the, uh, lightsaber and was asking her to, uh, turn it on. Um, that was like the only really aggressive, uh, part, uh, uh, in regards to him trying to turn her. And he's even discussing the, the mistakes that he made with May, uh, with her. Osha is, uh, definitely aware of what's going on and, and the fact that he's trying to turn her. Um, but she is also, uh, listening to him and, and she, and she does, uh, see certain aspects that he's, uh, talking about. Now, uh, one interesting thing that I really enjoyed, uh, and, and I like the way that he explained it or the way that he used it is, um, we, we heard, and the, I, I don't know if it was the Ahsoka series or the Mandalorian series. I think it was Mandalorian where Ahsoka talked about Grogu um, possibly losing his uh, force sensitivity uh, because he, uh, or losing some of it or forgotten some of it uh, because he hadn't practiced it in, in so long. And he was relearning uh, what uh, he had uh, forgotten uh, and, and kind of gaining his uh, force, more of his force sensibility back. And uh, here, um, uh, O'Shea, uh, basically was explaining the same thing to the stranger and the stranger was like, well, that's not true. Uh, that's what the Jedi tell And he goes about explaining, uh, the, the ways that she would be able to access the force, uh, without, uh, the traditional Jedi way. And, uh, of course we know it's anger, emotion, um, and, and using those, uh, quick ways, uh, of the force. So I, I love how he, uh, turned that, uh, around and uh, basically to debunk what the what the Jedi uh, are, are uh, teaching their their uh, students. But obviously, uh, we know that um, that pathway is to the dark side, which is basically what uh, O'Shea said. She knows what's going on. She knows that uh, he's trying to turn her. But um, I think he is uh, hitting certain uh, key points with her um, that could possibly uh, signal a turn for her. And then obviously the fact that she put on the helmet at the end and she's doing the breathing, uh, she can hear her breath on the inside of the helmet, uh, giving us a Vader-esque, uh, style, uh, of, uh, of a moment, uh, there, which was really, really cool. And I, I really did enjoy that a lot. I thought it was very, very And of cool. course, we also have Master Winsetta, uh, who has put a team together and they've, uh, traveled out to Kofar, uh, to, find out what happened to Master Soul. They've stumbled across the scene and we got a very, um, I have to say, shocking uh, shot of Jack A uh, laying there, uh, deceased, and all of the other uh, Jedi, Yord, uh, and the other Jedi just laying there. Um, but th that that shot right there of Jack A uh, deceased right there was very shocking. I don't think we've ever seen anything as, and I don't know what better way to describe it, but uh, anything as morbid uh, as uh, seeing a, a, a dead body uh, just with an opening shot to the next scene right there. So, um, but, but I did enjoy it. I, I thought it was very cool. It, it reminded me of what you might, something that you might get in a murder mystery, uh, which is what this series is supposed to be about. Um, so we're starting to kind of get those uh, murder mystery vibes. Uh, even though this is not a mystery, we, well, we know uh, who killed these uh, Jedi, uh, but uh, Master Winsetta seems to believe or she wants to put the blame on Master Soul, uh, seemingly, uh, which is uh, interesting. So we'll have to see how far that goes. Uh, obviously, Master Soul has taken off. Uh, he ignored the um, instructions of Master Winsetta uh, to leave on his beacon so they can find him. Um, he uh, took off. But uh, I think the reason why he did that, and obviously I, I, I figured that he knew that that was May. Uh, and I thought, I, I'm thinking he thought that the whole time. Um, but I don't know. 
uh, we'll have to see. And then, of course, at the end of the episode, we uh, saw that uh, he's going to have a discussion with her, which is probably what we're going to get uh, in this next episode. And we'll probably get uh, more of a reveal or a different perspective of the uh, events that occurred on the night that the fire uh, happened in the uh, witch, Witch's Covenant. So, um Again, I really enjoyed this story. Yes, it was character driven. There wasn't a lot of action. Uh, the most action, uh, the biggest action scene we got was uh, when O'Shea put the blade up to uh, the stranger's uh, neck, uh, kind of in anger. Uh, also, uh, on that point, we also uh, learned we're, we're, we're kind of getting the understanding, and it, this was alluded to a little earlier in the series, uh, that it wasn't. Uh, so much as O'Shea leaving the Jedi Order, uh, it, it sounds more like it was a mutual split between the two sides. And maybe it was because they sensed uh, that O'Shea possessed uh, some traits that uh, they were not comfortable with uh, in regards to her training as a Jedi. But we, we didn't get that full reveal. Uh, but again, it, it, the uh, stranger kind of uh, brought that out of O'Shea a little bit, uh, or she she kind of tiptoed around that, uh, basically trying to say that that it was her decision. Uh, but we could see that there was some great emotion in regards to uh, what exactly happened uh, with her split between uh, the Jedi Order. So um, I, again, I really enjoyed uh, the dialogue between the stranger and O'Shea. Uh, and then I, I think we're going to get uh, equal dialogue between uh, Master Soul and May, uh, when we c will find out from the perspective of Master Soul uh, what happened uh, that night that the fire started and uh, all of the witches were uh, essentially killed by um, uh, what, what we're, I think, what we're led to believe is that they died due to the fire. Uh, however, if you go back uh, to that episode where uh, they showed us those events, uh, there was an explosion. And O'Shea saw uh, the explosion when she looked up. I think there was like a moon uh, roof or something that, and she could see the explosion. There was some type of explosion. And then, of course, uh, while Master Soul and O'Shea were walking uh, through the uh, temple or the Witch's Covenant, um, all of all of the bodies were just laying there, and they weren't necessarily burned, um, but they were most definitely deceased. So. Um, uh, again, that would signal that there was some type of explosion. Uh, and then uh, if you also consider the fact that at one point, the Zabrak uh, witch, and I forget her name, um, she heard a noise, uh, what was in the electrical uh, room of their covenant at, uh, prior to uh, the fire being started and, and the explosion uh, that happened. So, um, uh, again, just kind of putting the pieces together of what was revealed the the first time around when we got the events uh, of what happened that night uh, with the witches. Uh, and I think, again, we'll see that uh, from Master Soul's perspective. And uh, I, I think they will uh, reveal uh, something in regards to that explosion and uh, what happened in that uh, electrical room uh, that was uh, a, a adjacent to uh, the witches' covenant. So, um uh, again, I really enjoyed uh, this particular episode, even though it wasn't as action-packed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and score this episode, and I'm going to give this episode a 9.0 out of 10. I, I really enjoyed the dialogue between the stranger and O'Shea. I love the things that he had to say. Uh, I love what happened uh, between Master Soul and May. Uh, the fact that he kind of knew that it was her, and uh, now, now for whatever reason, uh, he wants to take this opportunity to tell her uh, what happened that night. And uh, also, uh, he wants to uh, rescue his sister and find uh, the stranger. So we'll see uh, what happens with that. And then, uh, of course, we also uh, got more, more with Master Winsetta and uh, what her motives are. Um, obviously, the whole time she's been wanting to keep this thing secret. And, uh, well, Master Soul has now basically leaked uh, the fact that they took off and they were on some type of mission with uh, the uh, Jedi Council. So they are aware uh, that something has happened. Uh, and uh, now, uh, of course, uh, Master Winsetta has uh, set out uh, to uh, partake on on finding out what exactly happened, uh, find Master Soul. And I I'm sure uh, 
uh, she will try to uh, cover up uh, as best she can uh, whatever it is that uh, she wants to uh, uh, keep hidden, uh, not only from the Jedi Council, but uh, f uh, from certain senators that uh, may be opposed to uh, the the position of the Jedi as it pertains uh, to the Senate. So, um, of course, we get some politics, uh, a little bit of politics being played here uh, with the uh, with this series, which is uh, always uh, always nice. I, I know some people don't enjoy politics. I don't. What, my thing is, I don't enjoy modern day politics uh, in my storytelling. But the way that uh, the politics are being displayed here uh, is definitely adds to the story. And uh, speaking of the story, I, I believe that now uh, our our story is starting to pick up a little bit, and uh, not all of the gaps have been filled in just yet. Uh, but we are getting some really, really good story points uh, that are making the story uh, as interesting. Now, if we can kind of get the action and the story uh, as one, uh, I think we uh, could be in store for a hell of a series here. Uh, so it, 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 the series is definitely getting better, in my opinion. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure those who are uh, opposed to even watching the series still uh, will not watch it, even though uh, the last two episodes have been really, really good. Um, but we'll uh, have to see what the reaction is to this particular episode. Um, I'm sure some will uh, enjoy it as I did and some will not like it due to the fact uh, that there wasn't a lot of action in this episode. I think that's why some uh, may not enjoy this episode uh, as much as others, guys. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are in regards to this episode. Did you enjoy this episode as much as I did? And what do you think it is that Master Soul is going to reveal to May? And uh, do you think that the stranger is going to be able to turn uh, O'Shea. Uh, she put on that helmet and she did the, the Darth Vader breathing there. Uh, I think that was a little tease for us. Uh, I, I believe May is is very strong in her uh, resistance uh, to uh, partake in the dark path, but uh, we know that the dark side can be very persuasive. And uh, one other fact here is uh, she hasn't tried to leave yet. And I'm sure the uh, tide has uh, gone out at this point, so she might be able to get to that ship. So uh, we'll have to see how the story goes uh, from this particular point. But uh, I'm definitely uh, more interested in, in the uh, series uh, than I ever have been uh, since the beginning, since the first episode. Uh, I think the story is picking up and I'm enjoying it a lot, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. And then, of course, guys, please do catch me next week when we do this all over again uh, for episode seven. Uh, of the series, guys. So uh, I want to thank you again so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the Father to the Son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost, may the Force be with you always.